Hello, in this video I'm going to explain how to work with homogeneous transformation matrices, rotation matrices and translation vectors in Lua using Copelesim. Just to recap, Lua has two generic classes to represent matrices and vectors that we have already explained in a previous video. The aim of this video is to specifically talk about matrix 3 times 3 and matrix 4 times 4 classes that specifically represent rotation and homogeneous transformation matrices, respectively. On the other hand, we will also talk about vector 3 and vector 4 classes that will allow us to specify a Cartesian or homogeneous position. To learn how to use this type of classes, we are going to see some examples and a simple exercise. Keep in mind that Copelesim API includes functions that allow us to access the position or orientation of an object, its transformation matrix, etc. In addition to this, it also includes a plugin, CMYK, okay, which allows us to compute the inverse kinematics of a robot and to compute its Jacobian. Thus, the logical question is why do we need the matrix library and the classes associated with transformations vectors, etc. that I have uh, previously commented. So, first of all, Copelesim API is used for objects that belong to the scene, which forces us to create them and position them in the right place. The matrix calculus of homogeneous transformation is uh, of academic interest and this is in fact our main motivation. We might be also interested in extending Copelesim's functionalities by using the matrix library, as we did, for instance, for uh, the case of the pseudo-inverse function. Here I show a couple of examples to define a rotation matrix with rot set function, although we could also use rot x or rot y functions. Both of them are also defined in the matrix 3 times 3 class. To define a position from a Lua table, we can use the vector 3 class, as shown. To create a homogeneous transformation matrix, we can use the class matrix 4 times 4, in which we can specify the 16 elements of the transformation matrix from a Lua table. Once created, we can access its rotation matrix, as shown. The Euler angles that this rotation matrix represents, or its equivalent representation in quaternions, in both cases, they return a Lua table with the requested values. We can also access to the, posi to, uh, the position vector and also to the pose, which is just a combination of the position and the orientation expressed in quaternions. In that case, also, these two last functions also return a Lua table, as you can see. Here, I show another example in which I create a transformation matrix from a rotation matrix and a translation vector using the fromRT function. So, to set the pose of a reference frame with respect to another, we can access the elements of the matrix A1 by using the data method. As you can see, we have used these ideas to set the reference frame O1 with respect to O0 in the given code. Here, I show another example that actually performs just the opposite. Starting from an existing uh, object in Copelesim, we use the getObjectMatrix function to obtain a table with 12 values corresponding to the first three rows of the homogeneous transformation matrix. Then, we make a vertical concatenation with a vector containing three zeros and a one to fill the last row of the transformation matrix, so we can build and create the matrix A1. We can extract information about a given axis of a transformation matrix by using the axis method, which returns a vector with three elements as or with the, the values of the indicated axis. We can use this vector to perform a rotation around the set axis with a certain angle by using the from axis angle method. Finally, I show here an example in which the inverse of the transformation matrix can be performed. Here, 
we have two options since if we fill the information as if it were a matrix of type matrix 4 times 4 and then we call the inf method then it takes into consideration that the inverse of a transformation matrix can be computed with a specific formula as indicated. This is more efficient than computing the inverse using the gauss jordan method which would be the case if we had computed this uh, inverse uh, by using a generic matrix class. But in any case, both of them return the same uh, result. Well, in the description of the video, I have included a Copilisim file that includes a piece uh, or, a, or, or a part with uh, the dimensions that I show here. The aim of this exercise is to place the reference systems O0, O1, etc at the indicated uh, positions and orientations. Indeed, all reference frames uh, are by default in the file that I provide at the bottom left corner, just right where all frame is. So we must compute first the relative transformations between the reference frames by using the specified parameters A, B, C, D and E. That is, we must first compute transformations between O1 and O0 O2 and O1, O3 and O2, and so on. To make the exercise easier, I show here the necessary code that you must include in the dummy script, well actually it's included in the dummy script, uh, to set the position and orientation of reference frame O1 with respect to O0. So your task is now to do the same thing, but with the reminder of reference frames. Once you do that, the spectral result is the one, as you can see, in the figure here on the, left, on the right. In this presentation, I have introduced the use of homogeneous transformation matrix, rotation matrices, using Lua and Copilisim. Thanks a lot.